What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and today I'm doing a review on a new fridge that honestly has me conflicted because I love this fridge so much for so many reasons but at least in the Gladiator I can't use it and I'll get into that in a little bit but in the Grand Cherokee, we can use it. So uh, I'll explain why. This is the Echo Power or Echo Power, not exactly sure how that A is pronounced, but I'm gonna say Echo Power Lion Cooler, as in lithium ion cooler. Uh, it, this particular model is the X40A. It is 40 liters um, and is a, is a great little size. Very excited about this fridge because right now it's running. It's uh, at 30, currently at 35 degrees, temperature is set to 34 degrees, and it's, it's sustaining itself because it's battery powered. So this is a fridge that you don't have to own an additional battery source like a Blue Eddy or a Jackery or any other power station. This one will run itself. And I, there's other fridges on the market that can do the battery powered thing. Um, but this one has a trick up its sleeve that I think is so cool. And that is it can run off solar. The ability to take this out of your vehicle, set it up at camp, throw a solar panel out to, to run off solar and keep the battery charged in it until nighttime and not be dependent upon your vehicle or an external battery pack for power like that is fantastic. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by The More Expo, the Midwest's only indoor event for adventure travel enthusiasts. Artemis Overland Hardware, they have the passion and knowledge to ensure that your next outdoor experience is more than a camping trip, it's an adventure. And Long Creek Overland, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Think of the possibilities for, for day trips. You throw this in the back of your vehicle, you're going to the beach, you're going to the lake, take this out, put it on the boat. You don't have to worry about you know, plugging it into anything, roll it down to the beach and set it out there. All your drinks, your lunch and all that stuff stays cold. You don't have to deal with ice and the heaviness of the ice because this is actually fairly lightweight um, for what it is. But let me talk about what it is. This is a 40 liter battery powered fridge, uh, just like, you know, just like a Dometic, just like an Iceco or Alpacool Snowmaster. It's a legit overlanding car camping portable fridge, but it runs on a battery. Um, now it also runs traditionally. So what you get in the box is, I mean, your, your AC wall adapter. So if you leave it in the garage, if you leave it set up at home, you can keep it plugged into the wall and run it that way. While it is plugged in, it's charging the battery. So it's always keeping that battery topped off. If you have a power outage, it automatically switches over to the battery and boom, your food stays cold. So there's applications there for like emergency preparedness, disaster recovery type of thing, because you can store your foods, you can store frozen things. This will go down to negative four degrees Fahrenheit. So you can keep frozen things in here. And in case of a power outage, you're not gonna lose your food. Um, that's incredible. I, I can't tell you how exciting and innovative something like this is. Um, it's fantastic. It comes with a normal 12 volt car adapter that is actually quite long. So if you've got a you know, a big vehicle and you only have a 12 volt in the front of your vehicle, uh, you can you can plug that in and the, the cord's plenty long to reach the back of your rig. So I love that they include a, a really long cord with this because most people just include a little short cord and it's kind of crappy, but nice long cord. It comes with a very long also a solar adapter with MC4 connectors on the end. So you're not locked into using their solar panel. You can, if you already own a solar panel, you can use it as long as it doesn't go over 50 volts, which is actually quite a lot. Um, 
you're good. So if you already have a solar panel, you don't have to use theirs. Uh, but I mean, if you don't have a solar panel, you can get it all as a package deal. And then you get a um, separate charger just for the battery. Now the kit that I have includes one battery, which if you just buy the fridge, you get the one battery. Um, it includes the solar panel and it includes um, an extra battery. So on the fly, if, if you're out on the boat or if you are at the beach, you want to bring an extra battery, you won't need it unless you're out there overnight. Um, I'll give you that heads up. You won't need an extra battery, but you know, always nice to have a spare. So if I have this out and want to charge it, I can charge this battery separately and have it topped off while this is still running. So nice, nice to be included in that. So you can get a kit that includes the, you know, the spare battery and the solar panel. Um, let's talk about the specs. Like I said, it is 40 liters, so it's a good size. Um, there's a lot of room in here and, um, it, it's a good day trip, overnight trip, maybe solo long weekend, um, size. There's, there's plenty of room in there. Um, it is I mean, pretty much all ABS molded plastic. Um, it's, uh, it has two cup holders here. It has a rubberized silicon mat up here that uh, I guess, you know, if you put your phone up here or put plates or something up here, it's not going to slip around. It does have wheels and a handle on the back, like a normal ice chest would. So you can easily roll this, uh, like I said, to your boat, uh, out along your, you know, in your camp area, uh, along the beach, whatever you can roll this. It's got uh, a couple little pouches here that clip on and off that uh, I guess maybe for a drink holder, um, a pouch here. So you could throw the, maybe the extra battery in here and just have a spare just in case uh, that sort of thing or all your cords. Um, maybe you're bringing the solar panel along. And so you want to put your MC4 adapter cords in there. You've got a handy dandy little pouch back here that can do that. So that's a nice little touch on this side. You've got your adapter for um, your wall charger or your 12 volt, it plugs in there. And then this is your PV port for your solar panel. It's a 5.5 millimeter um, port. You cannot run both of these at the same time. Not sure why you would need to, um, to run solar and wall outlet, but you, you can't run both at the same time. Uh, it is one or the other, but that's where your, your solar panel charging comes into play. And it doesn't matter what you have this plugged into, if it's a wall outlet, if it's your 12 volt, if it's solar panel, while it is plugged in to something else, the battery is being charged, which is fantastic. And no matter what the situation is, if you lose power while it is plugged into something else, uh, power outage at home, you're drain the battery on your vehicle. And so it, hits the voltage protection and cuts off. Um, clouds roll in and you lose your solar, it automatically switches over to the battery and never skips a beat. Um, I, I mean, there's just not another fridge that can do this. And the implications for this, for what we do with overlanding and camping and that type of active lifestyle, this thing really changes the game on how you can use your fridge. And I absolutely love it. And I'll get into why I'm very sad about some of the, the one key thing with this that means I can't use it. Um, on the top here is the display. You've got actually a USB port up here, just a standard USB A port. So if you need to you know, charge a phone or a tablet or maybe a camera battery or something up here, um, you can, you can use that. You got all the standard controls. You can flip it back and forth from, um, Celsius to Fahrenheit. You can change the uh, voltage cutoff. So high, medium, low to depend on how much protection you want for your vehicle's battery. If you're running it in your vehicle. And then of course you can change the temperature and switch it over from eco to max mode, uh, depending on how fast you want it to cool, um, max mode. If you've got it plugged into a wall outlet, eco mode, pretty much for everything else inside is an LG compressor, which is one of the top brands. It is a good one. Um, it's very efficient and good name brand compressor in there. They didn't cheap out and put some no name brand compressor in there. So yay, 
eco power for that now let's talk performance on the battery and you i mean you can also plug this into if you have a, a portable power station and just want to extend the time from it you can you know plug it into a, a blue eddy or a jackery or a goal zero or, or whatever power station you may have um, but i am crazy impressed with these batteries um, they are a whopping 173 watt hours that's that's how much you're gonna you get out of these 173 watt hours and so when i first saw this i'll be honest i thought you know maybe that'll get you four or five hours in an afternoon um and and buy you a little bit of time but they're not going to be big enough to really sustain the fridge and i was way wrong um i tested this on just a battery had it fully charged tested it just like I do every other fridge. There were two water bottles in here. The temperature was set to 34 degrees, tested it inside the house where we keep the house at about 74. Um, so all things being equal to all the other fridge tests that we've done. And on just this little 174 watt hour battery, this thing lasted 18 hours and 49 minutes. So almost 19 hours on just these little batteries. That's incredible. I mean, that means you have complete peace of mind to roll into camp, set up camp, you know, keep this plugged into your vehicle if you want to, put that voltage protection on high just so you have complete peace of mind that it's not going to run down your starter battery. And as soon as it hits that voltage cutoff protection, it's going to switch over to the battery and, and definitely give you, um, you know, up until the next day. Um, you could even possibly go into the next afternoon before having to worry about this battery running out. That is insane to me that this little battery can, can last almost 19 hours running this fridge. And now if you've got this thing packed, I just had two water bottles in here. If you've got this thing packed full of drinks, if you've got it packed full of food, um, it's gonna last you longer than that. Now, obviously the environment that you're in your mileage will vary. If you're out in the desert and it's 104 degrees, the compressor is gonna be cycling on an awful lot more, so it's gonna run the battery down faster. If you're maybe in the mountains of Colorado and it's in the 40s and 50s, you'll, you'll get longer than 19 hours because the compressor doesn't have to cycle on and off as much. So 19 hours as a baseline inside our house is just fantastic. Um, now, let me show you how the solar works. This is what makes this fridge so awesome. I am out here, this battery is very low and I've got the solar panel hooked up to it and on just the solar panel alone, I am running the fridge, it's recharging the battery and that is pretty freaking awesome. And the, the the sun is not ideal right now. It's a little hazy today. It's actually 5.30 in the evening. So the sun's low or getting lower on the horizon. So we're not getting prime solar right now. And it's, it's still running. It's working. It is, it's charging the battery. It's running the fridge. The compressor is currently on. I mean, how cool is this? I also, just to see how efficient this was and kind of compare it to other fridges, put this on my Blue Eddy EB55. It's a 514 watt hour battery, uh, similar to the Jackery 500 that I've done a lot of the other fridge tests on. That came in running purely off the Blue Eddy EB55. I had the battery out, so it wasn't, you know, using this as backup. That came in at 48, 47 hours and 58 minutes. So basically 48 hours, two full days running off a 500 watt hour power station that's on par with a lot of the other fridges that i've tested um, and so very good very pleased with that result uh, so if you you know are out and maybe you have a, a another battery backup maybe you didn't get the solar panel you know you've got some time there that you can that you can buy with this um, and, and not have to worry about your your food going bad or your drinks going, getting warm, that sort of thing. So very, very pleased with this. And the solar panel um, combo, 
I mean, no one else is doing this. Th these guys have been crazy innovative. I wish other manufacturers need to other manufacturers need to pay attention to this. Uh, the big names: Snowmaster, Dometic, um, Iceco. You guys got to figure out how to incorporate this stuff because this really changes the game. And uh, it's pretty freaking awesome if you're wanting to go be off grid for a while. Um, that this is this is definitely the fridge to pick. Um, absolutely. Um, I mean, let's talk about the solar panel. The solar panel is it, it's pretty basic solar panel. It's 90 watts. It's uh, three panels. Each panel is 30 watts each. It has the little Velcro feet like most solar panels to angle it toward the sun. Um, it's I mean it it, it works. It, it works very well. There's nothing fancy to it inside. To go along with this really, really ridiculously long solar cord here, you have another ridiculously long cord here to connect to it. So you can, you know, put this in the shade. And if there's, you know, a sunny spot 20 feet away, you can just drag your solar panel out there and don't have to worry about moving this because you've got a ton of cord here to get to where the sun is and not have to worry about moving this right next to it. Because a lot of solar panels, you, know, you get maybe a three foot cable out of it. Um, uh, no other fridge gives you one of these. So um, there's that. Uh, inside here, uh, of course you've got uh, little pamphlets and stuff, how to use it. But inside here, attached to the little controller, uh, you've got a USB-A and a USB-C port. So you could use this and plug phones and tablets and batteries and stuff like that into directly into the solar panel and uh, charge those. So that's, that's pretty handy. You also get two manuals with this. Uh, you get a, a quick start guide, which is, is pretty handy. And then you get a very detailed manual that has all the possible error codes, um, how to use the app. That's right. This actually has an app that you can monitor and control the fridge with. It is the, it's called the portable freezer app and it's very handy to have because if you've got this maybe in the back of your vehicle and you just want to check on it um, and see what's going on with it, you can control everything in the app. You can see the status of the battery. Um, this one's currently at 11.5 volts. Um, it's currently 39 degrees in there. You can set your max and eco um, usage there. You can change your voltage cutoff, high, medium, and low. You can unpair it from the device. It does connect via Bluetooth, so that's great. Um, you can change your temperature setting. And like I said, you can go all the way down to negative four degrees if you want to use this as a freezer. Uh, I'm going to put this back on 34 degrees. There we go. Uh, you can change the language and you can um, go into advanced settings and change cutoff temperatures, um, start delays, that sort of stuff. I haven't messed with any of these, uh, but I just leave them at their defaults. But you can customize some of the features of this and it goes into details in the manual on how to do that. You can actually turn it on and off from here. Um, and of course, turn the Bluetooth on and off. So the app is actually really nice and goes into a lot more details and controls than some of the high, bigger name uh, fridges that have apps. Uh, most of those you can just monitor and change the temperature. This one you can change all the things and I think it's great. So, you know, if you've got this in the back of your vehicle and maybe you meant to change the temperature when you, you know, threw your food in there and, you know, to get it colder and you don't have to stop and get out and run to the back and manually change it. You just open your app and boom, change it. Um, or if you're, you know, want to check on your battery status as it's been charging, maybe you ran it down and so you threw it in the back and you want to check on it while you're driving, you can do that in the app. Um, it's, it's great. I actually, usually I think apps are kind of gimmicky, but this is, is very useful and I like it. Now let's talk about why this thing breaks my heart and I can't use it in the gladiator, at least not like I use a regular fridge. The reason that I can't use this in the gladiator, is because I've got a fridge slide back here. And have, I mean, if you overland in, in the back of a truck, having a, a fridge slide is, is fantastic. But if you've got a slide, 
it's it's got it's it's got the wheels on the side and so you know it's designed to, to roll this way and so i can't really take this and put it in here very well i mean it'll go but then you don't have actual handles a lot of fridges will have uh, handles here that that move up and down and you use those handles to strap the fridge to the slide and the handles on this while they're good comfortable handles there's there's nothing on this fridge to tie down to now i did see another reviewer talk about um, you know using these here as as tie down points but that's not what they're for these are just plastic so they're not they're, they're made to hold these things um, but you can't you can't strap this down and so if this is in the back of my vehicle uh, it, it's sliding around and i can't strap it down uh, which is no good in the back of a truck bed um, and that hurts because i love this fridge so much i've already talked to echo power and told them hey in your next design move the wheels to to, to this side make it so that when you're transporting it you know the wheels are here your handle is here and you're, you're rolling it this way not 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 this way um, and that would still be as useful to everyone else and make it useful for those of us with this type of setup and i realize i'm one in the minority so this will probably serve your purpose this works great in the back of my wife's grand cherokee i don't have to worry about strapping it down i don't have to worry about you know a slide or anything and it works great i can get to everything it it fits in here perfect and then if i want to take it out i can then take it out and you know roll it to to the beach or roll it out in camp or wherever i'm going with it um so great in the back of an suv style rig it just doesn't work in the back of my, my gladiator and that makes me sad as much as i love this fridge and i do there is one pretty major design flaw that just drives me crazy um, in addition to the handles and not being able to strap it down and use it in the back of my gladiator and where the wheels are um, this design flaw just drives me crazy and that is where the compressor is um, most fridges the compressor is down here in the bottom and that gives you on the interior kind of a, a shelf up here in this space and so this whole spot here is open with the lid and you've got a shelf so the most people kind of call the vegetable tray uh, for me it's where i put things like my eggs to keep them safe um, and i do put vegetables up there um, but there's usually some sort of tray up here that sits above the compressor well on this one the compressor as you can see is up top the battery compartment is up top which means there's not a shelf up here and so what you have on the inside is a a section underneath here in in, in this area here that honestly is kind of difficult to get to um, you know if you're just filling this thing up with drinks and working your way down as people grab drinks and stuff that's no big deal but like say you've got food in here you got to be careful what you put in that little area because you may have to dig stuff out to access those things and i have also communicated with echo power um, that they need to move the compressor down here i mean if the compressor and the battery were down here then you would be fine my guess is they did that because of the wheels um, i mean you, you can't have the wheels here and have room for all this stuff down here so i'm guessing that's why they did it but I, I i just wish the compressor were down low and you had the shelf and you didn't have that weird compartment um, now on traditional you know fridges like this with the shelf up here that doesn't get cooled like like the rest of it does that's why they call it a veggie tray because you don't you don't get as that area doesn't get as cold as the rest of the fridge down here that's going to be real cold so that would maybe a good place to to put things that you want to keep maybe frozen longer or um, 
stay colder longer because down here is going to be where it's the coldest um, in the fridge. So, I mean, there's there's maybe a use case for that. I just wish that, that the compressor was down low like a traditional fridge. So um, let's talk about the price because obviously um, with a battery and solar and the capabilities of this, I mean, this I don't classify this as a budget fridge. It's definitely not a high, I don't classify this as a high-end fridge either just based on price. So just the fridge alone, if you were to purchase it, you get the fridge, you get a battery, you get all the cords. Um, if you, just the fridge alone is $759, which is, I mean, for a 40 liter fridge, that's definitely higher end um, for that. But it's also the only one you're gonna get with a battery. Um, but when you factor in the fact that with a, a normal fridge, you, you got the fridge, maybe you spent, I don't know, 500 bucks on it, maybe 450 on it uh, for a 40 liter like this. You could find some really, some more budget fridges even cheaper than that. Um, and then you need to add, you know, some sort of additional power source just to protect your vehicle, to run it away from your vehicle. Um, so you're looking at getting a, you know, a Blue Eddy EB55 or a Jackery 500. Uh, something in that category. Now you're talking, boom, another 450, another 500 bucks. Um, you've then gone over the price of, the, you know, of this. And if you buy the kit with the solar panel, that takes it up to $1,038. Now, like I said, if you already have a solar panel, you can just use the one you have. Um, you don't have to buy theirs. If you don't have a solar panel, that's, that's not a bad deal. But I've got a coupon code that will help you save 10% off everything. So, you know, if you buy the combo, it's going to save you over a hundred bucks. If you buy just this, it's going to save you about 75 bucks, which I think really helps. Um, that coupon code is Ozark Overland. There's links in the description below to their website um, and the coupon code down there. So all that information is in the description. Um, so go, go check that out. Uh, but for what you get and the things that this can do compared to the competition, I, I don't think that's a bad price at all. I think that is a very fair price and uh, absolutely worth it because there's not another fridge that is completely off-grid capable like this one. There are some other fridges on the market that do run off a of battery, but they're not fully integrated in a kit and run off solar and stuff like this one is, at least not that I know of. Uh, I'm sure someone will you know, point out in the comments that, oh, this brand does that too, uh, but I'm just not aware of it. So let me know in the comments what you think of something like this. I, I think it's crazy innovative and hope every other fridge manufacturer pays attention to this and what it allows us to be capable of doing and the flexibility it gives us and where we can go, how long we can stay there um, how we can charge our things. So that, that's, that's awesome. Uh, but let me know in the comments what you think about this. If you would like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out our Patreon if you want to support this channel in a very tangible way. If you're liking the reviews, if you're finding them helpful, if you're just loving the inspiration from the trip videos uh, that, we, that we do um, and want to you know, give back and support us in a tangible way, check out our Patreon. All the links are in the description. And uh, also, you know, check out our sponsor links down below. We've got some great companies that uh, support this channel, and um, we really appreciate them. So Artemis Overland Hardware is this, sh this shirt. Um, check them out and um, our other sponsors, and I will see you next time. Bye.